first semester student this is uh, miss hl all right now i'll be taking your practical uh, for the first semester along with miss lr and in the first semester the topics are algae uh, bryophyte and pteridophytes all right now for the practical since we are not having that uh, interaction all right so we will we will be demonstrating through a video all right what are the things needed to do the practical all right and what how should you do what is the procedure all right and some of the steps some of the very, uh, very basic step all right that you need to follow in order to do your practical is this you should have a knowledge of these things okay now the first whenever we start a class a practical class the teacher will write down in the blackboard the aim of the experiment of the day now the aim is always the study of the supplied specimen all right so today the the aim the today the study of the supplied specimen we will be, we, we will be doing algae now these algae they come in these bottles okay algae are microscopic all right they don't come in big containers they come in these small bottles all right so this is an algae this is another specimen of algae and this is another specimen of algae now the name of this algae you can see there all right it is very small microscopic now this is ectocarpus this algae which is uh, having a visibility now this algae is cara all right and this one is again ectocarpus so you can see there all right now these are the specimen which we will be doing in the practical for algae portion now whenever we you come to the lab to do the practical you will be need, needing these things you will be needing a slide this will be supplied from the lab all right now a slide it need a lid so, all right and the lid is this it is called a cover slip so that you put on top of it like that all right you need a water glass all right and in this glass normally we fill with water so that whenever i take out my specimen i empty it into the water glass like that okay so that is the purpose of the water glass you need a brush okay what do you need a brush for you will be needing this stain this red color stain this is saffronin and this transparent liquid this is glycerin these two has to be mixed all right and they has to be Uh, use in the uh, experiment so that's why we need a brush to dip the brush in the paint you also need a blade all right for cutting the specimen but since we are doing algae algae are already very small so you don't need a blade okay you don't need a blade for algae but when you are doing bryophytes all right when you are cutting the stem and the reproductive structure of the uh, pteridophytes you will be needing a blade a new blade and you always you have always have to make sure that you have a blade for botany practical then you need these these are called needles all right these are called needles and what is the purpose of these needles to to uh, to touch your uh, specimen you will not touch your specimen with your hand or with your finger or with your nail okay you will be using a needle in order to tap them gently in order to spread them gently so that they do not remain in one center or in one corner but your specimen for example if i take this specimen and put here okay then i use a needle i cannot use my finger i cannot use my nail otherwise this algae is so small it will get inside my nail so with the help of this needle what do you do you spread your specimen like this so that is the purpose of this needle okay so these are the few things that you'll be needing when you do your practice now we come to this this is the most important part all right without this you will not be able to see this because as i told you before algae is microscopic 
and it is difficult to see with the naked eye so you'll be needing this the help of this microscope which is called a compound microscope okay and this compound microscope if you look carefully it has this structure here okay all right this curve uh, structure here which is called the arm of the microscope and with the help of this you can carry your microscope uh, throughout the length of the lab then if you look at this this is called the body or the tube of the microscope all right and in this uh, tubular structure what do you have you have this eyepiece okay it is detachable all right and with the help of this all right you can see this is eyepiece all right with the help of this you put your eyes there and then you can see what is what you have what you want to see all right then here you have this you have three lens here here in this microscope there are only two one two all right now these lens are used for seeing these lens all right they are used for seeing the specimen that you will place here on this platform all right now these lens are uh, there are three type of lens in a, in a, a typical compound microscope one lens is 10x power the second lens is uh, 40 to 40x power and the third one is 100x now this is called a low power 10x is low power all right when you go for 40 or 45x then you are seeing it under high power when you are going for 100 again you are seeing it under high power but if we want to observe the algae okay you can use this 10x uh, 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 eyepiece it is more than sufficient all right then below this you have this mirror all right remember this microscope is working on an element that is light and light should fall here on this mirror it is because of light all right which is reflected here in this condenser here all right you can see what you are putting here on this platform with the help of the eyepiece if you do not focus this towards light or towards a source of light all right then you will not see anything it will be black because this compound microscope is working on the principle of natural light that is it can be sunlight or it can be artificial light then if for example I have a slide here okay so how do I uh, how, what do I do with the slide if I need to focus something which is here for example there is a specimen which is here like that I want to see so what do you do you place it here all right and there are two clips all right on the side so these are the fixers okay they fixes this slide onto this platform so that the slide does not move here and there the next thing you do is you, if you want to see by 10x it is already there if you want to see by 100x you simply rotate this this is rotatable you can rotate and then the sound of a click here mean it is fixed the 100 uh, uh, lens will be placed here but since we are dealing with algae so your 10x power is more than sufficient okay then you have adjust, you have adjusted this uh, mirror here and the next thing is that you see from the eyepiece okay then how do you adjust there are two adjustment okay on the arm of the microscope there are two adjustment the smaller one is called the fine adjustment and this bigger one is called the coarse adjustment so you can move this tube of the microscope or this body of the microscope forward and backward with the help of this coarse adjustment okay and then with the help of this fine adjustment you can make things clearer when you see through the eyepiece you can make things clearer all right so this is the different part of a compound microscope and these are the things which will be you will need whenever you do your practical that is algae bryophyte and teridophyte